<sighs> Hi. Originally, I thought I wouldn't have much to say about the movie we are viewing today. But upon watching said movie to observe it and take notes, I discovered I have a lot to say about this pussy sap fest. Nine pages worth. So, lest we dig into the under-the-sea adventure that now makes me want to blow chunks. First, we open with this hazy gray feel. Then we get a peppy song. Perfect day to be at sea. No, it's... And now someone is getting seasick. I concur, Grimsby. Disney, can you please pick the message you're trying to convey and then go with it? And it's all to give us this small bit about King Triton? If you took this bit out, the story would not suffer. Observe. with the same beginning letter. It looks damp in there. Yeah. It's damp? Of course it's damp! It's the fucking ocean! Yeah, I got this cough. <coughs> you have a cough? You're a fish for fuck's sake! You don't cough! You don't even talk! Let alone catch a cold! Okay. Yeah, because anyone can fit through that tiny what? window. Do you really think there might be sharks around here? Of course there are sharks, you idiot. It's the fucking ocean! Why did Disney leads always have the idiot sidekicks that cause more harm than good? Have you ever seen anything so wonderful in your entire life? It's a fucking fork! We eat sea creatures with it! Sea creatures like you! I wonder what this one is? It's a pipe! Just ask that guy! Here you come in. Where is your traditional ask that guy with the glasses pipe? Be right back. This movie dares to take a chance on just the performers that. Hold on one moment. Give me that! Give me that! No! Me. No! He's doing something he's not being sophisticated! Ah! Beat it! What a douche. Here it is! Moving on. Flounder, will you relax? Nothing is going to happen. Hey, Red, you're in the ocean. A handful of things can happen. <laughs> oh, look, a shark. Who could have predicted that? Oh, yes, useless junk is so worth getting killed for. Great. An annoying bird. What else could this movie possibly give us? A dingle hopper. Humans use these little babies to straighten their hair out. It's a fork! Why is she listening to this horse's ass? That's not very nice to the horses. Pick a different species, one less beautiful and majestic. This is wonderful! A bandit? Bulbous, nor flat. It's a pipe, seriously. Why does she listen to this ear raping cockroach? How was that? That was much better. Thank you. Who are you, anyway? I'm your conscience. Oh. That's very boring. Not like listening to you. No. You just make me want to pound my skull in with a hammer. Thank you. 
this lovely reflection he has. It looks so much like him. We had fantastical feasts when I lived in the palace. When did Ursula live in the palace? And why wasn't that a part of the Little Mermaid 3, Ariel's beginning? Furthermore, why was she banished? What did she do? Answer me, movie! Answer me! How did they get back to Ursula's lair so quickly? I'm doing. Ah! Creepy villain eyes! The entire celebration was uh, well, it was ruined! Is Sebastian being more pissed off than Triton supposed to be funny? Nothing happened. Except that one time when your mother died eons ago. Daddy, they're not barbarian. How do you know? Hmm, princess? This coming from a girl who believes a fork is a brush. Did you ask your annoying seagull friend? Honey, you'll believe anything. <sighs> Life's not fair being a princess. You're absolutely right, Sebastian. Of course. Ariel needs constant supervision. You are just the crab to do it. You're the king of the ocean, and you're taking advice from a Jamaican crab? How many blunts do you think he smokes in a day? My apologies to all Jamaicans out there. I didn't mean it. He has no children of his own. When you have, what, six other daughters? Hmm. This doesn't look suspicious at all. Triton expects him to keep an eye on Ariel. Doesn't he have any guards that would be better equipped for this? That's a lot of sunken ships. I want more. You're a princess! What more could you want? Listen to me. If you're human, you'll want fins. So either way, you're never fully satisfied. Life sucks like that. Bet they don't reprimand their daughters. No. Cause on land, their job is to cook, clean, and pop out babies. But most importantly, to keep your mouth shut. Ready to know what the people know. How have the pages of that book not dissolved underwater? What the fire? And, and how is that painting still intact? Good lord, is her waist like five inches around? She has a platform to pose on. Everywhere, doesn't she? Please, Sebastian, he would never understand. Cause he's too busy being protective and junk. Stupid, 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 stupid girl. A sheepdog? That's a weird dog to take with you out to sea. Oh my god, a hot guy. Cause there aren't any of those in my own species. We're out in the sky. Shut up, you loudmouth. <laughs> Even Max thinks it's an eyesore. Like lightning. Poor choice of words. I hate how glazy this scene is. Did someone just drop a glazed donut on the movie or something? Well, that was money wasted. Sorry, Grimsby. Look, if the dog's intellect is reserved for hurting sheep, and he can't figure out how to get off of a burning slash sinking ship, then maybe it's time to let the dog go. It's called natural selection. How did he survive that? What is he, Superman? What the fuck? Oh, I, I can't make out a heartbeat. Where do you get your information from? State your source. What would I pay? To stay here beside you. Hooray! Interspecies mating! Yay! 
Yeah, it's called Crimes Against the Laws of Nature. Watch and you'll see. Another platform for her to pose on? And not just any human, a prince! Daddy'll love that. Would he rather she brought home a biker dude with tattoos? Cause I know a guy. What? What has she got? The swine flu. <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> Yet another platform for her to pose on! Jesus, they're everywhere! <gasps> I tried to stop us! You're weak, Sebastian. Weak. <laughs> Why, Eric? Run away with you? Yes, because every girl with a giant statue in the likeness of her crush talks to them like that. <laughs> this is all so, so sudden. <laughs> I love how they just confronted this is all happening so quickly. I consider myself a reasonable Mormon. And so that gives you just cause to blow all her shit up? You don't even know him. And you do? Daddy, I love him! You haven't officially met him. What if your dad was right? And he was like all the others. What would you do then? Huh? Huh, princess? Have you lost your senses completely? Uh... She had them to begin with? He's a human! You're a mermaid! Thank you! Because apparently everyone else has ignored that fact. For a while there, I honestly thought that the big elephant in the room was going to be completely ignored. That! Holy crap! How did they get into her secret cavern unnoticed? Poor sweet child. Wow. Nightmare inducing voices. I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight. We represent someone who can help you. <laughs> okay. I have a couple jokes lined up for this one. And finally, what are you, Ursula's lawyers? Flotsam and Jetsam, attorney at law. Well, at least you still have the statue's face. That should come for something, since it's not like you know what a penis is, or what a penis means to you. Penis. I'm going to see Ursula. Wow, you'll believe anyone! Why don't you go tell my father? You're good at that. Buzzing! Hey, child. We mustn't lurk in doorways. Nice entrance. Who's your decorator? May I have their number? Poor unfortunate souls. Best song in the movie. These poor unfortunate souls. To those poor unfortunate souls. Yeah. Okay, that was a view I could have done without. Thank you, Disney. You've got to get dear old Princey to fall in love with you. That is, he's got to kiss you. How is kissing synonymous with falling in love? What the fuck? Not. Just any kiss. The kiss of true love. There are other types of kisses? Why, sure! The drunken kiss. The I don't know you, but I like you kiss. The let's just be friends kiss. The experimental kiss. The goodbye kiss. The hello kiss. The family kiss. The... Okay. Okay. I get the gist. If I become human... I'll never be with my father or sisters again. Now you think of them? We're how far into this movie? About 52 minutes, perhaps? That's right. But you'll have your man. Right, because every woman's world isn't complete without a man. Penis. Your voice. 
What is your soul like gain by getting Ariel's voice? Is it just to make the game more interesting? Or just to make it harder on Ariel? All her tongue will get some man. Was that an actual tongue? What the fuck? What is that glowing ball supposed to be? Vocal cords? Um, yeah, they don't look like that. I wonder if Ariel is furry or shaven. Penis? There's something different. Don't tell me. Oh my god, you're sitting on them, you dipshit. She's gonna make the prince fall in love with her, and he's gonna... He's gonna... And she stands up in the surf, exposing her new vagina to the beach and her sea friends. Yay! Ariel's a whore with no sense of modesty! He's gonna kill himself a crab, that's what I thought I'd say! Tasty! When do we eat? Get home right now and tell him just like I should have done the minute and don't you shit! She can still understand them? How is it that Max still speaks like a dog, but her animal friends speak English? None of this makes sense! My brain is going to explode trying to comprehend this movie. Um, Sebastian? If I may intervene momentarily. She told you. Why don't you go tell my father? You're good at that. Maybe you should have taken her up on the offer before it even got this far. To give you back your voice, you- Crabs have teeth? Miserable for the rest of your life. Now that's not true. There's bound to be a merman equivalent to Eric. I mean, Triton's not that bad looking, so he can't be the only good looking merman. Unless he murdered them all to make himself the only one. But I could have sworn that I've seen a couple attractive mermen at the beginning of this movie somewhere. Well, maybe I was high. <laughs> Not but a minute ago, she could barely stand. Now she can run? Um, okay. I guess you guys have never heard of the word consistency! <laughs> Yet another platform for her to pose on! I'm beginning to think the only reason they made this movie was to have a hot, unnaturally skinny redhead posing on rocks for 90 minutes. Sounds like another Disney princess I know. Hmm, a strange and yet familiar redhead that I've never seen around here before. And being that I am prince, surely I know all my subjects. They did make her very pretty though. Damn you, Disney Incorporation! What, what, what is it? You're, you're hurt? No? Oh, the poor thing. I want that bathroom. Now I'm hungry. I'm telling you, Grim, she was real. There is no way I could have been hallucinating due to head trauma. The doctor said I didn't even have a concussion or a scratch of any kind considering the ship blew up. They put her in heels? Her walking skills are what, a day old? And they put her in heels? Do they just have gowns on hand, or does Eric have a sister we don't know about? Seriously, what gives? Explain! My guest, eh, Eric? Ah, uh, this is what Scuttle's information has done for you. 
fantastic. Ariel's anti-smoking campaign fell a little flat. If I cut off their heads and I pull out their bones. Nope. This isn't disturbing in the least. Just the dog. <laughs> now I'll stuff you with bread. It don't hurt. Cause you're dead. He just sneezed. The dead don't sneeze. <laughs> just full of funny, ain't it? America loves the French, can't you tell? Dude, this insect of a crab is kicking your ass. Failure of epic proportions. Well, I guess she can have a personality without a voice. Come to think of it, I do like her a lot more now than I did before. Stand back! God, the loudmouth is going to sing. <coughs> Take cover! Ow. Ah, oh, she's better than I thought. Uh... Ursula, never underestimate her, a girl who looks like that. Far better than any dream girl is one of flesh and blood. One warm and caring. Grimsby, you're only saying that because she can't talk. Where are his parents? If he's still considered a prince, then that must mean they're still alive. So where are they? Um, shouldn't Ariel be able to recognize her own voice? Of course he's going to marry me. Who else is there? I mean, we have had a magical two days together. <laughs> Who? History of with yours I, does. I don't understand. We wish to be married as soon as possible. No. Oh, yes, of course. It can't uh, be. But, uh, these things do take time. How? You know? I don't news. understand. I, I haven't said a word. Yeah. What more well, could he want? Well, Eric, uh, <laughs> as you wish. <laughs> I should have got on the ship. This is what happens when you conform yourself to get a man. You get hurt. I, I saw. Yeah, that's how I feel every time he talks too. We're gonna make it. We're, we're almost there. At this point, her doggy paddle would get her there faster. <laughs> well, at least they cleaned you off and dried you. Daddy, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to. <laughs> Because you believe anything and anyone! Completely unbreakable, even for you. I love the dumb look on Triton's face. Duh! It didn't break! Rim I lost her once. I'm not gonna lose her again! You don't even know this chick. At last. No, it's mine. Um. Except for the six or seven daughters that would rule the seas by default should anything befall our dear king. So, you still got shit to do! Monster! Don't fool with me, you little brat! You think you can fight her off? Dude, she can use you as a fucking toothpick! Say goodbye to your sweetheart. <laughs> Say goodbye to yours! My poor little poopsies. Poopsies? I'm not even gonna touch that. Not even with the 10 foot pole. Seriously. Did she just fart? By Flounder's reaction? I'd say she did. What is she making soup? What is the point of Ursula doing this? This is just stupid. If you have all the powers of the ocean, use it! Don't just conjure up a fucking storm! You had time to throw it. What were you waiting for? And yet another platform for her to pose on! Okay, we get it. She's good at posing. Can we stop this now? Is this the next day? Because if we recall, before Ursula had her menopause-induced rant, 
It was nightfall. Has he been on the beach all night? Good God, people! Show some consistency! She really does love him. How can you love something you know nothing about? Hey, that doesn't count. I know a lot about him. Where he's from, his favorite food, his favorite color, music, movie. Children got to be free to lead their own lives. More parental advice from the crab. Because that worked so well before. How much I'm going to miss her. Well, you do have six other daughters that don't give you this much trouble. Unless, of course, Ariel has started a fad and they all want to be human too. Then I say you're better off just murdering them all. Yes, where were we? We had a wedding going on before it was so rudely interrupted by a squid's PMS. But it's a different girl. Oh, the priest won't notice the difference. By the power. He never does. In fact, this is Prince Eric's fourth wedding today. Isn't it amazing? He's really quite the stud muffin here, you know, wherever we are. Utopia, I guess. I hate her dress. I hate her dress. I hate her dress. This is why Disney does not have a line of wedding dresses. Oh, yes. Let's continue this because it was so important and so funny before. Yeah! Note to self, if you ever come across a crab with teeth, run! He's lethal! Her puffy shoulders are bigger than her tits. What the hell, man? Can't a girl get a break? Ooh. Let's have a choir reprise part of your world because this movie wasn't over the top already. He bowed to me. It must mean he's not like the other fish hunting humans. What did you eat before, Triton? You mean to tell me that you don't have yourself some shrimp scampi from time to time? Never, never. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, a fucking rainbow! Because this movie wasn't over the top enough? You had to add a fucking rainbow? Dude, just stop it. I want to hurt you very badly. Very badly. It's time to learn the day's lesson. Today's moral is... Wheel of morality, turn, turn, turn. Tell us the lesson that we should learn. Moral number one. Wine pout, state your case of not being a child anymore when clearly you act like one. Go against everything your father tells you. Make a deal with the devil. Run away without thinking about your family to be with a guy you know nothing about. Only to become property of the devil for your father to have to trade places with. Fight scene ensues. Devil is murdered. Everything goes back to normal and you get everything you wanted in spite of the fact that your actions prove you really don't deserve it. It's totally bogus. Wow, I did that in one take. Hey! <laughs> Bazing! Any final words from you, Conscience? As a matter of fact, I do. Penis. You poor unfortunate soul! Go ahead! Make your choice! It's really the to Penis. <laughs>